Hey guys, today's vlog is entirely about packing, so it's a bit of an unusual vlog. It is like 10 o'clock at night, and I'm gonna be on a plane in like 14 or 16 hours. So I need to get packing. I'll show you guys what I'm bringing with me. To start, I have two bags. I'm gonna have my big backpacker's bag that will go on my back, and I'll have my front-facing backpack, and that's where I'll keep my valuables, like my passport, uh, my cameras, my laptop, all the good stuff. I also have Santa's little helper here today. I'm gonna get started on crying because he's leaving me. She's not being very helpful. Let's get started. So this is my big backpack that I brought with me to Asia last time, and we've been through a lot together. This is my little tiny front-facing backpack, and I don't actually remember the exact sizing on this backpack, but just buy anything. Amazon sells really good backpacks. You can buy them there for like 200 bucks for a good backpacker's backpack. And I wouldn't cheap out. My number one recommendation is to get a backpack that has this. So not only can you put stuff in here, but you can also lay your bag flat and then unzip it. And that way you can actually see what's in your backpack without pulling things out every time. That's my number one recommendation. Makes a huge difference. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Also, it doesn't hurt to get a backpack with a bit of support. So mine has a bit of lumbar support and hip straps. Here's basically the key. If you want to cut to the chase and you don't want to watch my video, don't bring anything, buy it over there. Okay guys, so I decided to add to that. So even if you're a girl, if you're going to be in Thailand, especially in Bangkok for a few days, there is so many cute rompers and dresses. So this is an essential. Bring your Ed Hardy pink hat. He's lying. That's a lie. I don't even know where I got this. All right, so here's the strategy. Get together a pile. Put it all in one spot. Laura, get ready. And then get rid of half of it. And then get rid of half of it. You don't need it. <laughs> but be a bit more selective. <laughs> Alright, so I brought the pile from my room to the couch. And I've, I like to separate it so that you at least see all your stuff in one place. You're not confusing things that you have no chance of bringing. And from here, I went through the consideration pile. And things that I was definitely going to bring, I brought it to a table. So from here, I've basically organized the gist of what I'm going to be bringing. I'm going to be bringing two pairs of dress pants, uh, and by dress pants I mean a pair of jeans and a pair of these joggers. So stuff that you can wear out, go to the club, you could uh, wear it on a bus, it'd be a bit warmer, whatever it may be. It's good to have at least one pair of pants. In addition to that, I also have sweatpants. One pair of sweatpants is probably going to be a good idea. As far as shirts go, I have six shirts in total, seven including this one. So I've got um, three pairs of singlets, so these little um, sweatshirts, whatever you want to call them. Singlets, that's what the uh, people in New Zealand call them. I don't know if we call it singlets, but anyways, the sleeveless shirts. What I also really like is this here, because let's say you're out in the sun and you got burnt, it's nice to have the option to wear something that still breathes really well, but covers your entire shoulder. So on days where I got burnt, I usually wear this. So that brings me up to four shirts. I also have these three t-shirts, they're just basically H&M plain shirts. You can bring whatever, but a total of seven shirts. For my shorts, I have one pair of swim trunks here, two pairs of swim trunks, because if one gets wet, then you want to have an option. And I also have two athletic shorts. These are Lululemon shorts. They're really, really good. Um, it's nice to have a pair of versatile pants that can be pulled off as like semi-casual or workout, whatever. And even this might be too much, but right now I'm having a hard time deciding which pair to leave behind, so I might bring all four. One thing I recommend is bring at least one long sleeve shirt. This will be good for getting on buses or planes where they blast the air conditioning, and it actually gets really cold. In addition to the long sleeve, I'm also bringing one hoodie, um, basically just like a sweatshirt. And this one here is a very, very light athletic sweatshirt. So kind of like a windbreaker. I'm gonna bring two hats. You could definitely just bring one, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring this beater hat and this one that's a bit more stylish, even though I'm not from LA, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm bringing seven pairs of boxers. Don't really need to show you them, but here they are. And I'm gonna bring seven pairs of socks. So I'm gonna bring like one or two dress socks um, just for like when you're wearing your pants. And then I'm also gonna bring five pairs of just basic white socks. This here is a travel hack. I highly recommend you get a drawstring bag. This is great for when you're doing day trips. So let's say you're going down to the beach and you're leaving your hostel or you're leaving your hotel. This is so, so good because you can throw your cell phone, your wallet, your passport in here and have it on you very conveniently because you don't want to lug around a big backpack all the time. And the best part is you can fit it in anything. Always bring a drawstring bag and your life will be better. 
that is pretty much all my clothing that I'm bringing and I've eliminated those from the consideration pile. Also gonna keep her in the consideration pile, I'll decide if I keep her or not. I'm having a rough go over here. Just kidding. I was told today I couldn't get my hair dyed blue because my hair is gonna break off, so now I'm so sad. Laura really wanted to have blue hair, but now she'll get long extensions with blonde hair, so I'm really excited no, about that. No, I wanted blue hair. Now I'm gonna put all those things into my bag, and then after that, let's move on to my electronics bag, my valuable bag. The bag that I will basically never let out of my sight the whole trip. Let's pack this bag. Some of you are probably thinking, do you have a strategy for packing your bag? Not really. The reason being, I can unzip my bag, like I said earlier, and grab anything without pulling everything out. So again, make sure you get a backpack that can unzip horizontally. It'll make your life so much better. Okay. But generally speaking, I'm going to throw the things at the bottom of the bag that I know I won't need immediately, like jeans. These are also heavy items, probably best served at the bottom of the bag. Look at this, I have so much room in my backpack. It's a thing of wonder. There's probably 50% of my bag left over. I packed quite nicely, efficiently, effectively, and I have tons of room to buy stuff while I'm abroad. Perfect. So with the extra room that I had in my main backpack, I'll normally keep my less expensive gear that is heavy, or can get stolen and I wouldn't be devastated. So stuff like a tripod, um, maybe chargers, cables, handles, and selfie poles, whatever you need, that if it got stolen, it wouldn't really matter. What's gonna go in here, I will show you. It wouldn't be a what's in my bag video without organizing everything into a giant display on a table. I'm gonna show you guys what are the main pieces of technology that I am bringing with me abroad. So this is my workhorse, MacBook Pro 15 inch. It's gonna be doing all my editing and basically my life revolves around this. I got a Gorillapod, it's just a really versatile tripod. Um, so this is actually Hero 4 Silver. I'm not bringing this. GoPro is sending me a Hero 4 Black and it, they'll have to send it to me in Thailand because it did not arrive on time. Um, these are chargers, chargers. This is an ND filter. If there's too much sun, it helps reduce the amount of sun that goes into the camera lens. This here, backup batteries for my GH4, backup batteries for my Canon G7X, the camera right here that I'm using for vlogging. All my cameras, I put 64 gigabyte memory cards inside of them. Um, this here is my iPhone 6, 64 gigabyte unlocked. So if you're going traveling, unlock your phones. That's how you can get really cheap phone plans for as cheap as $10 a month, $15 a month roughly. And that's unlimited texting, unlimited data, all the good stuff that you need. Get your phone unlocked. That's how you travel with a phone. And this here is my 14 by 140 zoom lens. So it's a really great lens. Um, it's a 3.5 to 5.6 aperture. So it's definitely not the best for low light. Gives me a huge amount of options for shots with the amount of zoom that it can do. Put the cap back on. And this here is the beast that I will be learning how to shoot as I go. So I've been using it a little bit. I still am not quite familiar with a real camera. So it'll be fun to learn how to use this, but this is my GH4, and I'm really excited about this because it's gonna shoot amazing 4K and amazing slow motion. Uh, for my headphones, I just use these both in-ear, and then that's pretty much it. So yeah, I've got three cameras going. A GoPro Hero 4 Black, Canon G7X, my GH4, my laptop, and my phone, and that's basically how I'm gonna manage my workflow. With all the big files that I'll be shooting, I'm gonna be uploading everything to this two terabyte hard drive, and that's actually how I managed to have all these files on the go. So yeah, you guys have seen my clothing, you've seen my equipment, and that is how I pack for Thailand. So I'm pretty much ready to go now. Really exciting, I am gonna be in the air in no time. So my vlogs, I know, this is the one downside of leaving, right there. Her. But it was so much harder last time. Last time I was leaving for two months and now that it's only a month, it feels quite a bit easier. We will be reunited in the Philippines, so that will be a lot of fun. The bag is almost ready to go, and this bag is almost ready to go. I've gotta say, I am much more prepared than I was last time. Last time I actually had quite a bit of stuff, and it was, you know, pretty tiring to carry it around. Another couple of random tidbits. You should get wall adapters in advance. Plugging in your electronics when you get to another country, a lot of countries have different wall plugs, so be prepared for that. 
and Asia in particular, you need to buy sunscreen beforehand, otherwise you'll pay like three times more when you get there. I mean, it's not imperative, but it definitely helps save a bit of money. Two hours later, and I've got bag one, bag two. I am ready for Thailand. I'm also ready for sleep. I have to get up pretty early in the morning. I want to go to the gym. It'll make the day on the plane a lot easier if I've gotten a good workout in. But I know in the morning it's going to be pretty rough getting out of bed. So the sooner I get in bed, the better. And I'm going to go say goodbye to Laura's little sister, to her mom. And in the morning I'm going for breakfast with my parents. And then Laura will be the one dropping me off at the airport. Anyways, till then, till tomorrow, I will talk to you guys then. And it will be the beginning of my new chapter in Thailand, Philippines, and I haven't figured out the third country yet. So it's going to be an amazing next three months. Alright guys, I need some sleep. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. And I got this. If you're going to wear a fluorescent helmet while you're on your motorcycle, at least drive a little recklessly, please. Oh, that was sick.